I sort of, especially when you think about、uh, a brain disease, I sort of feel it's actually quite different. From many other diseases, you know, certainly very different. Say from, you know, we just experienced this horrible、uh, pandemic,、um, COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2. Because for any infectious disease, you know, the outcome is a very direct consequences of.、Um, Uh, in, infectious agents such as SARS-CoV-2 affects respiratory tract,、um, and you know function of the lung, and then you have all the symptoms, and then you know so that you treat the symptoms because you know that's where really things happen. But any brain diseases, especially neurodegenerative diseases, it takes years to develop, and eventually for individual. To show clinical symptoms, so that also means by the time anyone shows symptoms, many things have happened in the brain,、uh, going through a lot of、um, adaptation already. Because the brain is a very plastic organ. Okay, if there's one thing wrong, usually what happens is you know our nerve cells they can figure out a way to continue to. Maintain the function of the brain, so so you don't necessarily show、um, the consequence, right? So so by the time someone shows any symptoms, that means the brain already kind of run out of any 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 compensatory mechanism to mask、um, the disruption. So so as you can imagine, this is a very systemic problem. Okay, many things go wrong, and so、um, when we,、um, you know, first,、um, you know, think of a brain stimulation method, it was thinking about how we can change the status quo of the brain, you know, to restore homeostasis. And as you can imagine, the brain is made made up of many different cell types. It's not just nerve cells. Um, we have nerve cells, and then we have several kinds of、uh, glial cells. And these cells, such as astrocytes, microglia, oligodendrocytes, and so on, these cells are there to serve the nerve cells. Okay, to support the function of the nerve cells in different ways. And then we also have lots, lots of、um, blood vessels, vasculature in the brain. That、um, also are very essential, supporting、uh, the function of nerve cells, providing you know nutrients, oxygen, and also play a role in clearing metabolic waste. So all of these cells play very very important role. And if you look into the literature in Alzheimer's disease, all of these cells are disrupted in terms of their function. So the question is, right? How do you restore? The brain's homeostasis. How do you simultaneously take care of all of these different systems and, and different cells? So,、um, so we、um, several years ago、uh, discover that you know if you can、um, use some sort of um, um, stimulation, um, it、um, actually has the potential. To engage many different parts of the brain, many different regions of the brain, and in fact engage many different cell types to respond as well. So this is very different mechanism, say from targeting a particular molecule、um, or a particular、um, a protein or receptor. It is sort of a, a, a all-inclusive kind of changing the status quo. Of the brain、um, status, so、um, so you know, over the years, we not only show using this very non-invasive light and sound stimulation can have this you know very、um, surprising、uh, beneficial effects, but what、um, what we have provided now is to show how this、uh, non-invasive、um, brain stimulation. Can elicit all of these beneficial effects. You know,、uh, we go cell type by cell type, you know, system by system,
um, sort of combs through of the possible mechanisms because I think in the end, if you know how it works, then it will always be more compelling and people are more um, willing to, you know, to really embrace it.